this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Oracle of Ages! What's going on? What's that shadow there? Hmm. It's a witch! Flying on a little broom. Oh, hey, how's it going? Maple, huh? Oh, it, maple syrup. Yeah, yeah, that, that's very clever, guys. Ha ha. But anyway, whenever you've killed 30 enemies, which will usually happen after you run out of a dungeon, uh, you'll have a chance of running into Maple. Uh, you can run into her only on specific screens on the map. But anyway, she's looking for a certain book. Hmm. Well, I'll keep that in mind. But anyway, whenever you bump into Maple, both you and her will drop some items. So now you basically race to see who can get all the items first, or as many as you can. And usually you should be able to get more than her. Sometimes she'll drop some pretty rare stuff too, like random rings, uh, a heart piece even, which, well, I'll just get naturally over the course of the game, but there's, or you can get a Gasha Seed, um, Magic Potion, or whatever the potion is called in this game. So anyway, let's help that ghost out there. So yeah, just keep Maple in mind for later. You really do want to kill a lot of enemies, so that way you can get the heart piece at some point before the end of the game. And I've never had trouble getting it. I usually get it naturally. I never have to, like, grind to get it, so. Well, that was easy. So just help the ghost get into his grave, huh? Er, what's that? An astral projection of yourself from under the grave? I don't know what's going on here. But, anyway. Okay, there we go. Well, at least he's not going to curse me like the ghost in the last game. Oh, yeah, so I did. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm not going to reach the afterworld anytime soon, but for helping this ghost out, we get the Poe clock. Yeah, for those who hadn't played the previous games, uh, in the Nintendo 64 games, the ghosts were called Poes, I guess. So, there we go. Edgar Allan Poe? No. No, just ordinary pose. But anyway, uh, let's see. Not on this screen. I think it's on the next screen, up here. If you are playing Oracle of Ages Second, I believe there will be a ghost on this screen. Yeah, yeah, there should be a ghost somewhere around here who has a secret password for you. But we don't have it right now because I'm playing this game first. I may decide to do some bonus episodes to show that to you, but for right now, or, you know, I don't know. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. But anyway, oh, oops. Uh, actually, well, the reason I'm inserting this little scene in here is because when I originally recorded this, I forgot about part piece number three down here. So, yeah, somehow I forgot about that. But, uh, okay, so yeah, now I got the heart piece, so now let's, uh, get back on up here. The tree hasn't fully grown yet. Well, that's odd. Huh. We'll be back here later. Usually, by the time you get through a dungeon, you should have killed enough enemies where that should have, uh, well, uh, grown, fully grown. It's not fully grown yet. It kind of looks like it, but not quite yet. So, okay, let's see. That's everything I can do there. So, let's return to the... Is it the village or the city? I think it's the city. Yeah, yeah, return to the city, and we want to head to the woods to the west, like the maple tree told... or Meku tree. Yeah, maple tree. That's great. No, Meku tree. Oh. Hmm. Well, maybe I'll check that out later. I don't think I can get down there yet anyway. Or, oh, wait a minute. You know what? I got some rings. So let's see what I got from that dungeon there. Uh, let's appraise some more of the rings. I got some extra cash. So you give him 20 rupees, he appraises the ring. We get power ring level 1. You, If you equip it, you deal more, but you take more damage. Not such a great ring. I'm more of a fan of the armor rings myself. But, uh, let's see. Anything I really want to use yet? The discovery ring. Senses soft earth, huh? Hmm. Well, I guess I might as well take that one. I got nothing better to do, so... Okay, so, anyway, in order to, uh, get one of your rings from him, you gotta go to the list and find the ring you want. There it is. Let's use that one. Now, that takes it from his... I guess vault or whatever, and puts it in your inventory. So to equip it, you gotta go to your menu, hit select, 
and then equip it like that. So, let's see how that works. Well, eventually. Sooner or later, I'll run into it. Let's see, as long as we're back here, let's, uh, let's pay a visit to, uh, Bippin' and Blossom. See how the kid's going. Oh. I guess nothing's changed yet, huh? Oh, well, okay, there we go. Nice to see that things are going well for them. We'll check in with them periodically to see how, uh, Zippin's growing up. Okay, so now let's head on over to the, uh, the fairy's woods there. Hmm. Uh, okay. Oh, the tree's in the past, right? I was like, where'd the tree... I'm thinking, where'd the tree go? But anyway, now that we've beaten all that dungeon, we got the power bracelet. Yeah, I'm not so accurate with the, uh, with the power bracelet in this game, I'm afraid. Symmetry City to the north. Hmm. Can we get up there yet? No, not yet. Hmm. And the bridge is out. The bridge is out! Hey, it's that guy from, uh, Majora's Mask. He was from Majora's Mask, right? I I'm not hallucinating here, right? What's the problem? I don't have any food for you. Your master is a loser. Uh, okay, okay! Stop talking! Okay, well that's everything we can do up here. Just figured I'd go exploring. I mean, that's half the fun in Zelda games. And killing octopi. Why not? Not a big fan of seafood. Whoa! I like the music in Oracle of Ages. I need to remember to talk that, talk about that more often. I really like the boss music. I'll be honest with you. Someone was saying they didn't like it. Well, sorry. I liked it. Let's see. What? Any more treasure? No. Okay, okay. Enough mowing the lawn. I don't like doing it in real life, but in games, hey, you never know, you might find some treasure under there. Hmm, I can't get to that chest there. Yet. If only there were an item that could let me get that. Let's see. Well, let's keep on looking around here. Hmm, I wonder where all that stuff is in the water there. Looks funny. What? Wasn't I just on this screen? Well, what's going on? Oh. Hmm. Well, let's head on up here. Whoa! Well, I suppose this is the fairies' woods. They look like bunny fairies to me. Um, okay. Oh, great. What is this, like the raccoon in the last game? Nuts. So anyway, now what we gotta do, the reason why the screen was repeating earlier there was because of these freaking fairies! So what we have to do is find all of them in order to, I guess, unlock the, the fairy's woods or something. So, let's see. Was this the one? No, no, it was another. Yeah, you heard that noise there? That was from the uh, discovery ring. That means that there's a secret so uh, patch of soil. Sorry. But anyway, now we gotta find those fairies here. Haha! Uh, -ha! There we go. Yeah, if you just keep on going like back and forth between two screens, You'll usually end up finding one somehow. That's my strategy. Not that it's really a strategy, but... Hmm. Let's see. See, I've already been there. No, that didn't work out too well. Hmm. Let's try left and right. Haha! -ha, there we go. I know there's one over here. Found a secret fairy! Alright. Let's see. I've already been there. Hmm. Ha-ha! There we go! Last one. No? Oh. Hmm. Now, if you go to the right, yeah, on this screen, you can leave and quit, but I'm not a quitter! Hmm. Okay, so, where the hell did it go? Ah, there it is! There's a chest right next to it. There we go! Yeah, it looks just like that other screen there. We won't be able to get that chest for quite some time, but... Just keep that in mind for later viewers. Alright, there we go. So now we can walk around the forest. Well, somewhat normally. Or as normally as it ever was. Let's see, did I explore all of it? Yeah, I did. Okay. Well then let's just head to the right, because that's where we're supposed to go. Eh, that's good. Oh, okay. Well that must have been what the uh, Maker Tree was talking about there. Whoa! Nuts. How am I going to get into the next dungeon now? 
Yeah, whenever you see that, all those... What are those things? Are those supposed to be leaves? Well, anyway, whenever you see those, that's the Meku tree, I, I guess. How do you figure that? If only Nehru could give us some advice on getting into that dungeon now. Hmm. Okay, sure, why not? Let's go raid her stuff. Penny raid! No. No, just an ordinary treasure raid. Well, let's see, uh... Well, let's just kill some more enemies, and, uh... Let's see, now... Well, yeah, we do want to go over to Nehru's house. You know, I think I want to check on that uh, tree back at uh, the Yal graveyard there. I think I should have killed enough enemies by now. Usually, I, it's already grown for me by now, but... Well, apparently not today. Did I get any more rings? No. No, I didn't get any more. Well, it's in the general direction of where we're going, so... I'll just make a quick pit stop over there. Oh. Nuts. Frickin' shrubberies! I'll cut you all down! With the herring! Or just burn them. That works too. Haha! -ha, there we go. Whenever you've killed enough enemies, the gossip tree grows and it has, well, it grows nuts for you. Because Link has no nuts of his own. And we get a ring! Alright. Take that over there to uh, get that appraised. But anyway, let's uh, plant another gasha seed here. Why not? There we go. Now, eventually, you could, well, from it's basically kind of the same way as uh, maple works, where when you've planted a seed there and you've killed a sufficient number of enemies, it grows, and then you can get some items from there. Same types of items, like various uh, random rings. Uh, heart piece you can get from that too, separate from the heart piece you can get from Maple. So there's two uh, random heart pieces in the game, but they're usually pretty easy to get over the course of the game anyway. Sooner or later you'll get them. Although usually I don't get the heart piece for uh, uh, Maple, or for the Gasha Seed until much later in the game, usually. Hmm. Could it be a secret passage? Yes, it is. Oh, what's this? Let's check it out. And under her basement, we find the Harp of Ages. Oh, well, there we go. Well, what, just because I moved the statue and found your basement here? Oh, well, there you go. Oh, yeah, I suppose not. And this is, uh, only slightly more, or, le never mind. I was trying to make a Batman and Robin reference, but I couldn't. I purged that movie from my mind, and I just couldn't, I, I couldn't do it. it. My mind was rejecting it. But anyway, for Finding the Harp of Ages, I guess her, uh, after image, or, whatever, teaches us the Tune of Ages, which lets us go into, or time travel through those various portals that we've seen around. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, and kind of like how the ocarina worked in the last game, in this game we can learn different songs in order to travel uh, back and forth through time in different ways, and you'll see how that is, but for right now, we can only travel back and forth through time on those various portals there, so. Well, Alright, there we go. Haha! -ha! Okay, well then let's, uh... Oh, talk to Impa, I guess. Oh, okay. Well, I'll see what I can do. Let's, uh, equip that, uh, Harp of the Ages, and then we'll talk to the Meku Tree some more. Why not? Hey, is that, how's it going? Yeah, I know. She kind of told me. Oh, yeah. Maybe we should check out the, those woods in the past there with our Harp of the Ages. Next time on Let's Play Oracle of Ages! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!